Hey, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. So, in our last episode, we met Rachel's dad, who is a pervy old man. But not really, because he just wants to understand young people. And if you recall, Rachel is the Nekomimi pop star who just started her solo career. Uh, also, Bailey's came around, and we learned about how he and Lua met. And I hope he's taking everyone's advice to heart. But anyway, let's continue. Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. And for the headlines today, who vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury sedative illegally? Uh, Coach Couchella, 2020. Ten reasons why you should go. And sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's Hayden Gala. He never really changed. I know. But it was surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, spicy boy. I'd like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? Yes. I think the last one was the remedy. But there's no harm in checking some other combinations. Alright. You know what to do. Uh, I guess we'd try... making the same thing again, right? Try this. Thank you. <laughs> Just what I needed. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. Well, we do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. <laughs> ah, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be... you know... tough? Just because I'm a vampire, it doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I'd had a couple of drinks. I could have taken it both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You're trash, Tide. You told them I was your bodyguard. <laughs> Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. <laughs> Obviously, he was too drunk to drive. So, I hailed a cab. Turns out, he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck to with him until morning. Huh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could've killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they may have had ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. <laughs> A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck. The universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Hmm. Werewolves? 
War veterans. Ah, I see. So, how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in a hospital, Gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed... I'd... I'd prefer it if we skip that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. Well, that's okay. It's alright. Uh, forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with... something. Let's just say... something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So, you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, spicy boy. I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Okay, we can try. Warm and cool at the same time. Hmm. Tea ginger? Nah. Tea mint ginger. Yeah, that works. It's a little bitter, but I'm sure that's fine. Mint ginger tea. Here you go. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Speak of the devil. There she is. Hello, good people. And one vampire. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Freya. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. <laughs> is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. <laughs> I've no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. You. You look so tired, Freya. Our day at work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Spicy Boy my draft. And I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So, I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. And I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals... How's your hospital admitting life going? That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not sh even sure what you do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about. But mostly I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like uh, how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kinda like biz dev for people's lives then. You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here. Only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist, or 
Think about the necessity of it. Exactly. It's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. <laughs> you. He needs to be a little, a bit less loyal, though. Hide. <laughs> You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait. 50 years in the same position. Uh-huh. Holy. Ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions. Mostly man managerial. Take it. I'm not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's Gala for you. Anyway, my ship's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to stay hide? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, spicy boy. And you, Freya. See ya. Take care on your way. See ya, Gala. Oh. You know, it's kinda hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So, how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story? Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? <sighs> Alright then. Wait a minute in this place back when it was a bar. <laughs> Whoa! I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this, a very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Hmm. Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya? Come on. <sighs> I won't get into details. But, going to war, it messes with your head. Oh. You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I, I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person. That's all. And after a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone, seek help. Which he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. 
Of course, I've no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me. And not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work- Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the cosmonaut. Oh, I miss them. Good evening, everyone. Uh... Oh, boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name by the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. Ah, uh, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hide. You come here often? For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Oh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do you all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. I image Ah, the Aramid Jenju album cover. <laughs> no wonder you look, look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? I yes. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew you a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Okay. Something that... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe something with the most flavor. But... <laughs> I don't know. I... I couldn't really think of anything. There's gotta be... I'm thinking maybe there's something special. <sighs> Alright, so I ended up with just ginger green tea. It's very bitter, so... maybe? A cup of anything is ready for you. Thank you. What the... Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking. That's, uh, that's how they drink. Oh boy, you are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? 
We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. You really are here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Wow. It turns out perfs exist everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand it. But we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Oh, that's such a weird question. Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Aw, oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are. Not many women can handle that. Could you handle them, though? Me? I don't know, what do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further, if it got you a good story. <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I go on a date with them. But I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you're willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow. No wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner, in exchange for stories. But I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. <laughs> it's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. This is... This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives? Yes, that's... that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm... Now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves, and those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least, that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? <laughs> Uh, first of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time you start by dating boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? <laughs> so cute. Now... The path to starting to date varies between people. But usually, it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. 
It could be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? <laughs> it's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Yeah. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? <laughs> the mating ritual. <laughs> Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So, we talked about using condoms. But how do your kind have sex? Like, seeing how you drink. That's a weird question, Freya. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm. That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details. <laughs> Is it confidential? Unless we agree to do the mating ritual. Uh... Uh, no. No thanks. I... I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. <laughs> We did our research, and we tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It, it is. I have to agree with that. Anyway. Thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this new found information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed, after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. See ya, Neil. <laughs> so fucking weird, but I love him. That was really something. Indeed. You said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. <laughs> And then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivety. I guess so. <laughs> By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I... I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was pretty... being pretty nosy to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation. Unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. So I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh well. It'll be a peaceful week, then. Heh. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. Uh, she didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. <laughs> That's one way to put it. 
Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Alright then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. Hope she has like a poncho or something, it's raining. It's been raining a lot. <laughs> it's been raining every day. Bitter heart. Shadows that will help you try to hide. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna write that one down. Definitely milk, ginger, and cinnamon. So, I'm actually gonna leave the episode here. I know this was a shorter one, but uh... But yeah, that was pretty interesting. We got to know a bit more about Gala's backstory. And uh, we got to know Neil as well. Our, uh, our good cosmonaut buddy. It's a pretty rainy day today, so it was nice to be able to chill, brew some coffee, talk to the patrons. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.